everybody quick little video I just wanted to go over what I plan on using for palettes for December and um, I'm gonna start with the ones that are in my hands um, again I'm still really really liking the mini breaker um, it does have a lot of colors I wear often I'm wearing it today for my New Year's Eve look um, hope you guys dig it I dig it um, this is gonna be a fast video because Emma and her daddy were still here and process was hard with me being here for her to leave and I got my lunch right there to eat so this is gonna be quickie um next video uh, next video next um palette that I plan on using in the month of December or December January oh my god guys this is my January palettes that I want to use in January so again mini breaker in January colors I'm wearing right now for New Year's Eve um next palette for January is going to be my BH Cosmetics it is the Zodiac the Gemini palette it has a little highlighter in the middle it's a lot of oranges and yellows and I have fun with those colors with fair skin it works works out pretty good with me and it's also a lot of colors that I already wear I'm like getting above the screen. I'm trying some new things. I'm using my phone again. So if I cut my own head off a little bit, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how best to do this. I'm so tall though that the thing, no matter what I do, it just sits funny. So using my camera in uh, 2020 and uh, probably I'm going to ask for a tripod for it. Next palette that I want to use in January, of course, is my beloved Blood Sugar. You guys know how much I love this palette. This palette is my baby. This is my first um, deluxe uh, Jeffree Star palette. I did, did get, I think the very first palette I ever got was probably the one from Morphe, um, the collab. And I love that one, but this is my first like deluxe deluxe um next palette i plan on using in the month of january it's going to be still be cold still cold vibes i'm probably still going to be wearing a lot of blues hopefully um whites and tans and that kind of color and and i'm wearing blue now but i just never think to put this on so i've got to make a habit of doing it but my baby 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 my blood sugar i freaking love this palette these blues are out of this world all of them i could I could have done a look. I could have done a look with this this morning, and I didn't. I I stuck to my old favorite, <laughs> but I wanted. I mean, this has got some pretty good sparkle and glam in it. Um, with the Cullinan shade, that's like such a good inner corner, and the and the um, Chris, crystal flesh is actually my most favorite shade in here, and it's just this like, like pinky, tan with sparkles in it but all of them they have a lot of glitz and glam to them I just I don't know I just didn't really think about it I guess I'm not used to having such a wonderful luxurious palette available I just kind of make a habit of using it and that's what this video is for is to help me hold myself accountable for it um I don't always have time to do a full look so time is strained so I end up doing just one color but you can do one a look a really good look with like one or two colors out of that palette and out of all the palettes really that I've mentioned but the blue boy palettes just got some that would be just perfect for everyday use um next would be of course my so jaded um my Kathleen lights palette um these colors just it's every color it's every color that I wear in the winter and fall this would be pretty for New Year's Eve, I should have popped those colors on this morning, but your girl just ain't used to having so many choices. This year, I've actually really gotten into having more palettes. I never, I really had like maybe three, maybe four palettes before, but I've gotten really into it this year and I've started collecting. So I need to start using, and that is my goal for my channel. I'm going to start talking about palettes that I want to use and doing more looks with it and hopefully doing some get ready's with me. I don't know how that's going to work in the afternoon at work, but maybe I'll just not get as glammed. I'll just do everything but my eye makeup and we can do one of these palettes like an eye look at lunchtime. It'd be super cool. Um, next and last <laughs> is my Tati palette. It is so dirty. It's so grubby. You guys, I use this a lot. I didn't think it was going to be a palette that I was going to use every day because the colors I mean, I'm, I'm really pale and there's a lot of really dark, bold colors in there, but 
the um the metallic row which is this row right here i end up using that a lot um i do use the uh, sequin which is the one below it this this row here i end up using that a lot too um and just do a look with one or two colors um a lot of times I end up doing like a full look with three colors and then maybe something below. But I've started using a little bit of eyeliner to do that. Um, but that is it, guys. Those are the palettes I plan on using. Again, I'm just going to go over them really, really quickly. In the month of January, I am going to try to use Tati, uh, the Textured Neutrals Volume 1. That's one I'm going to try to use this month, upcoming month, next month, 2020. And then So Jaded by Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. My Blue Blood by Jeffree Star. Um, love this baby. And then It's Big Sister Blood Sugar, which <laughs> I don't really have to try to use this one. I tried to use this one probably too much. Um, then my BH Cosmetics, the Zodiac, the Gemini palette. I need to use that more. And last but not least, going the other direction, is my Mini Breaker. And I used that for this look this morning. So this is my New Year's Eve look. I've got, even got some lashes on. Um, I did a little bit of glamour and glitz here. And I even did a little bit of highlighter. A highlighter was from Jeffree Star as well. Okay, guys, that was a very quick video. And I know I'm talking really, really fast. But if you made it through this whole video and you're not annoyed with me, then thank you very much for staying and I hope everybody has a fantastic New Year's Eve. Andy and Emma are sick. Emma's got another ear infection and Andy thinks he's got the flu for like the third time consecutively in three years. Since ever since baby, basically ever since Emma was born, he thinks he has the flu every, every year. And I hope that's not true. Um, last year he had a test done and he didn't actually have the flu, so that's good. But um, he is sick, and that's no fun. I don't like for him to be sick. I want him to be healthy so that we can, ha you know, have good times as a family. And the baby being sick is the worst. Just can't deal. Um, but I hope everybody else has a fantastic New Year's Eve and that your 2020 is going to be as fabulous as all of you are. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, share. My affiliate codes are down below. Love you guys all. Peace out, homies. Bye.